So you may remember earlier this year, we run the budget build series where we each had to buy and build a car for $5,000. Now Mitch and I ended up buying and building the Delica and we put the thing to a test with a heap of challenges. Over four massive days, the budget build series was filmed and the Delicas continued to surprise us by taking win after win. And while well, $5,000 was donated to Beyond Blue Charity. You guys seem to like the series last time so much. Well, we're doing it all again. In this episode, we get another $5,000 to spend as we get them ready to take up to Cape York. Good morning. Should we go have a look at the leaker? We need to go do some damage assessment. It's been sitting down there for a while. We did do the glassy episode recently, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. Yeah, we just sent the strap. Strap or bull bar? There's, it was a bit of an eye opener with the capability to it. Well, be. actually, yeah, it did surprise us, <laughs> of all things. Oh, so sad. We oh. have never cleaned it. Not since budget bills, not since glassy. That's still solid, man. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's got a flat tire. I don't know when that happened. That wasn't there Whoa, before, it's right? it's proper flat. Yeah. It's all right, it's only flat on the bottom. It's <laughs> oh, I love that this is still on there. The old Pringles box, when it rains. Oh, it's moist in there. Better keep the water out. It's like kept the water in. Oh, it's kicker in the guts. No. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, wait. Just check the battery, hold on. Oh, hey. yes. This thing never, it's never gonna break. Dude, first crank <laughs> every time. What a machine. So after that glassy episode, we made a few conclusions. Hey, we'll start with the basics. We need, we need new tires. Tires, a bull bar, a winch, and snorkels at work. So, so the, obviously we've got another five grand to spend. So there's another new budget for this series. Oh, bit of weight saving. All right, I think we need to go for a run, get some parts, and then we'll start hooking into this thing. Oh, I work mint. So we were saying, obviously, we want to try and keep the same size, the 33s, but we need muddies, because we're going on the Cape. Our Rick, what are you doing? He's here, I've come to annoy you. You've seen the Delica build we did, eh? Yeah. So we need some tires for it. No, Delica's like But it's a budget yeah. build, so it's got to be cheap. Yeah. But we need muddies. What are they, 16s? 16s, we need 33s. 33s. And so we can't be it on the Cape without anything smaller. 75s, yeah, we should have something. Have a look. Sure. All right, so yeah, how, how, much can you, how much can you do these for? Because. 300 bucks. 300 bucks? Lift with your back, not your legs. Arch oh, the spine. Arch the spine. And lift in a sharp, jerking motion. That's the one. Alrighty, so we're gonna do a quick budget update too. So we've got those parts from um, Black Bear. The tires were cheap, they were like 400? Or was it 300? I think it was 300. I don't know, we'll go We'll go 400 worst case. I can't remember how much they were, but they're stuffed. They're old second handies. The bull bar was 1650. Ooh, better be it's like the bull. only one they make. Um, I did order a winch from Outback Equipment, so thanks to them, because it came in like two days, but that was 1100. And then I have ordered some stainless steel for the snorkels from, from Ben Brothers, but I haven't got a price yet. He's got to send me an invoice, but that's 13150. What's five grand take that? Like 1,800 left? 1,800. I think we've got tons left still. I think before we go ahead and do the bull bar, the tires are on. There's a little hill over there. We'll test the flex because there may be some scrub issues. Oh, check the door. Oh, we don't no. have spaces on now. But it's but so they're wide. a little bit thicker. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Look at the clearance. Dude, look at the clearance. Oh man, this door is so annoying. Yeah, that's I'm stoked that open. <laughs> Alright, let's go flex her up. Now go hard lock. Wow, put it in forward drive. Dude, that's not really scrubbing. Oh, yeah, it is. 
What about the this back? This side. I'll go up more. Yep, yeah, uh, that side just kind of made its own clearance. It's why just the front. Why can't I make it up? I want to make it up. See more power. Dude, that looks sick in the back. Mud, <laughs> mud tires are going hard. What an animal. Wow, this thing is so capable. Got some stance. All right, I think that was a success. It's not too bad. I have to do a little bit of hammering. My favorite shop. Wheel studs, aircon belt. Like, this is all auto stuff. All we got was a brush. <laughs> Look, compression in a bottle, I'm pretty sure. Engine repair, health Engine cylinder repair. compression. <laughs> So you just, you know, put... Oh. Stop leak, engine. Oh, there we go. Stop blowing my solver. Yeah, fuck, let's you know, put man. turbo diesel power juice cleaner and some stop leak in. Problem Gives it all the powers. Good to the tape. Oh, no. Richie, Deluca. Six and a half hours later. Look at everything we got. We got everything. All of that was just for a paintbrush and some gloves. Have some pring tingles. There's, there's one more thing on the list. <laughs> Popcorn, chicken, go bucket times three and mountain dew slushy. I'm not sure what that means, but we better go. Did somebody say KFC? But that was... 253 and 35 cents. $253.35. So we still got heaps, bro. We had, what, 1800? We still got to get steel for the snorkels and sort out that window. Someone put, someone put their head through it. A little surprise. Put Where? Inside. inside. I haven't even thought about that. I'm gonna leave that up to you. So I don't even know what to it's do. It's already done now. in my brain. All right. Now pick it up and slam it down like you mean it. Oh. <laughs> so how much does this cost? Come out the budget? Well, it is necessities. I do care about this Delica, I promise. There's the bolts we were worried about. You know, people wonder why Delicas are so good. Like, if you take a look here, there's this hose that goes just all the way across here and comes up to just go all the way back, you know? Only Delicas have that, that's why it's so good. These are getting tighter. Tight, oh my God, it's about to snap. Oh. It just snapped. <laughs> This stuff is so good from Neurolon, shift your bastard, and it gets these tight bolts undone so I don't snap the other one. How are we gonna get that out now? This bullet is gonna be held on with one less bolt, because I ain't yeah. fixing that. All right, should we put winch in? It's a spider. Cool. If you have a look on here, this bar has been developed to accept up to a 9,500 pound low mount winch. So there we are, sorted. We've got our 9,500 pound winch. It's a fucking serious winch, this, hey? This is the marriage. Marriage of the winch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Call of Duty wasted. <laughs> you know, in all my years Damn. of being a YouTuber and all my years of wearing thongs, that's the first time something's landed on my foot. It fucking hurt, eh? Okay, we've got a cable tie, winch cable, spotlight, twelve wheel bearing, uh, front brake, weld exhaust. Oh, just wire up winch. I'm gonna put tight wheel nuts because they're not done yet. That'll do for now. Yeah, that's sick, eh? You want these are on my website and stuff? <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, just before we get into this week's tech tip, Christmas is just around the corner now. What we've done is put together a Built Not Bought mystery box. Now in the mystery box, you're gonna get $120 value worth of Built Not Bought merchandise for only a hundred bucks. And also, the limited edition boxes, 20 of those are gonna get some of these random prizes inside there as well. It valued up to 500 bucks. We've got some Red Arc, BCDC stuff, some stuff from Chaos, bin bags, lights, got some lights from Hardcore, tools from Tool Pro, uh, a couple of radios from GME, some Max Tracks gear, all sorts of stuff. So if you wanna get in and win some free stuff for Christmas, jump on and grab one of the mystery packs that will be in the link down below. We are shipping them straight away so we get them in time for Christmas. Good luck guys, you might end up with something a little bonus. What's going on guys, welcome back to this week's tech tip. Now we've got a flash new product in this one. The Polaris, they run head units. I've been running their head unit in my car for ages. It's one with a fat screen, it's got car play, you can put your off-road maps, HEMA, all sorts of stuff in there which is sick. But this is brand new, I haven't seen before which is pretty cool. So, rear vision mirror. For a start, when I got my canopy on, it doesn't do anything anyway. So this rear vision mirror hooks up to cameras on the back of the car. So you put a little camera at the back, it becomes a full-time reverse uh, mirror and at the same time a reverse camera. Helps with loading trailers, all that good stuff. But on top of that is actually a camera on the front here. So it has a forward-facing camera which doubles as a bit of a, uh, what's it called, like an in-car cam security What's the word? Dash cam. So inside the unit has its own memory card, constantly recording front and back as a dash camera. So you can have that if you do get an accident for insurance purposes, etc. And you can also turn the whole thing off anyway and it becomes a normal mirror. So it's kind of an all-in-one unit, pretty slick little thing. And if there's anything like Polaris's other products, it's gonna be pretty smack bang and work flawlessly. So be whacking this thing in the patrol and using it from now on. And I'm gonna twist the arms of the guys at Polaris to try and get a discount code for you guys. So there'll be a link down below. And if I do get the code, it'll be down there too to get yourselves a discount to get one of these for your four wheel drive. So anyway, we're gonna get back to the episode. Thanks for supporting the businesses that support Built Not Bought. Okay, I've bloody ripped the trash off. Some of you might be sad that I'm not using bloody PV sneak snorkels anymore, but go into Cape York, need something a little bit better than that. Oh, by the way, budget build guys, who's put a can in here? When I popped it off, a couple of cans fell out. It's not a bin. Now, what I did do the other day is start TIG welding up um, an exhaust. So I got some bends in that from my man at Ben Brothers. He's such a legend when it comes to this stuff. And then my welder ran out of gas, but we did get one I'll get the 90 put on and then the 45 sort of tacked up there. So I'm gonna finish welding that, gotta get some more gas and then I'm gonna to have to run down to Mitre 10 or something to get a hole saw because I thought I had one, but we need to get a brand new four inch hole saw. So let's run down to Mitre 10, grab one of those, come back here and put this snorkel in as a bit of a test run and then we'll do the other side. Oh, just made a discovery as I was cutting the hole. The fuse box is in the way, so that's not important. That's good to go. And once we yeet that in the bin, then we'll be able to get the snorkel through. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, the Delica, I haven't touched it in a while, but uh, it's time to get back into it. <laughs> Hang on, what the f What, what? Oh, that ain't good. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was driving the other day and it got, 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 it got defected. It's a major defect, it's not a good one. Turns out you can't have an exhaust out the bonnet in front of the driver's windscreen. I wouldn't bloody read about it. Got something here with a few things we've got to sort out. So, make the exhaust comply. Okay, that makes sense. Well, the side window, something's wrong with that. Oh yeah, it's not there. Okay, uh, make all the lights and electrical comply. Oh, okay, so that don't work. We'll fix that. I fixed the mud flaps, okay. Tire size has got to comply. Bugger. Remove the windscreen stickers. Bugger. Affix fuses. What? What do you mean? Oh. Okay, so there's a few things, but I'm not gonna lie. The officers, shout out to them, they know who they are. They stick at it, but they knew this was a little charity event that we're doing. So, 
with a little bit of a special privilege. They're gonna come out personally to basically inspect the car, make sure it's road legal, so we can continue on this journey going to Cape York. So usually you'd have to go down to transport and book it into the pits and it can take weeks or months. But the problem is we've got probably two days, maybe three at a push to get this thing, well, road legal again. Three days later. Okay, we managed to get the defect taken off the Delica. She is legal. A few things had to change, which is a bit of a shame, but there's one standout feature that we did change, which I think may have swayed their decision. Delica Delica, comment down below if you know what this is from because I was skeptical that some of the younger audience wouldn't know. But you knew. I'm so, I'm an O2. O2. So I'm not too young. So let us know what this is because it isn't just the car we've painted, it actually resembles something. So what we need to do now, the car's essentially done. There's a few stuff in the back that we've done. Um, we also put the GME radio in, so we've got proper comms because last time we had the handhelds. Um, I actually, we whacked in uh, superior shocks on the rear too. So you did that while you were away, or we did that, me and Zach. So we put new shocks in the back because the old ones literally didn't work. You could just push the shocks together with your hands and the thing just bounced. But now it's heaps more stiff because there's gonna be a lot of corrugations. So I'm gonna be running those shocks. Um, inside, we've also mounted the, uh, the go blocks in there. Um, we're gonna have a new Dometic fridge going in. And also we've thrown some drawers in as well, which I hope we've got budget board. And speaking of budget, I'll get you on the calculator, I think. We've got to see where we are. I don't actually count them. It might be over. Oh, 4,240. We've still got... All right. We can put the stripper pole in and the couch. Yeah. We've still got more to do, but it's essentially drawers. The go block's going to be strapped there. This will be camping gear. Simples. This is all our spare parts and tools, which we've already started packing. Got a grinder. Mm. Spare belts. Um, we fix the aircon belts. We do have kind of aircon. An actual aircon for camping. Backup. And then we've got the Max Trax gear, so we've got the full recovery gear. Oh, we need to put Max Trax on the roof too, or something. So we've got to mount that. We've got to mount Max Trax, put the bearings on, and then hit the trip. So I don't think I'm going to film any of that. This episode has been bloody epic, lots of ups and downs. We had the car built, the cops came, destroyed everything for us. Then I did a real spontaneous decision to paint the whole thing. And now we're here, and we're going to leave in the morning. So we'll see you guys next week when we take on the telly track and possibly another win to donate money to Beyond Blue. Definitely another win. Yeah, vote, vote right. the Delica Delica. And by the way, it still does leak. <laughs> See you next time. Please click the button to your left if you want to go and check out the latest merchandise we have on our website. If you missed last week's episode, click down below to see it. And most importantly, on the far left, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.